Right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining another episode of The Candy Show. I'm your host, Candy, guys. We have another special guest in the building. Technically, this is like our second time here, but it's an encore. Well, you know how things go when you have a great, hot interview. You got to do it again. got to do it again. So, guys, I want you to welcome my guest today, DJ Samosa. Hey, hey, everyone. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Where are you coming from today? Well, I just been at home. Yeah, I was hanging out with my little one, Zoe. Where is home at for you? Where, where exactly? Um, what the state? Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stay okay. off the Taylor's Road. Mm -hmm. What's the weather like? Oh, it's sunny. It's pretty hot. Humid. Yeah. Louisville. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. Hot. Mm -hmm. I'm here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in the background. I, I'm loving the background. Yeah, these are some of my crowns. Um, I actually made this one myself. I wore it to Forecastle 2019, and my friend also made this one. I wore it to Tin Roof um, one time I DJ. I also oh, made it on my paintings as well, like this one, oh. Bruno Mars. And oh, that is, you did that by hand? Yes. And I, oh. I you know, it came off from my mind. And this one with um, Kanye. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful. Those look exactly like them. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Are those for sale? Yes, um, I haven't put them in the art gallery yet. So I'm working on more paintings. I want to hold on to these for a while because I had a lot of offers on them, but you know, my walls are kind of blank, so I want to keep it <laughs> hanging there for a little while. So, oh, wow. I'm a solo that's, that's, that's wow. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. You are from Louisville, Kentucky. You're a female DJ. Yes, uh, born and raised Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I DJed a few events. I also make music as well. Like you just played my song, Smooth Criminal, and I'm an artist. Go ahead. What is going on with Smooth Criminal? Who is it by? Who produced it? Beautiful Minds, um, that's our group name, me and my sister, Tommy Versetti. Um, we had a producer, I forgot their name, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> but yes, um, so I didn't produce it myself, but I wrote the song and so did my sister, Tommy Versetti. And is this a group that you and your sister have? Have you yes. guys been doing music for a while? Yes, we've been making music for like five years now. Um, I have some songs on SoundCloud that are owed, and then I have uh, BFB on Apple Music, Spotify, you know, all the little music streaming platforms, and so is uh, Smooth Criminal as well, under Beautiful Minds with a Z. Okay, and when did Smooth Criminal, when did you create that? During the pandemic in 2020. Yeah, so me and my sister was this, you know, we had to be in the house, like we were stuck in the house, so we just made a song, Smooth Criminal. Is it playing anywhere? Yes. Um, well, we have a music video that's on YouTube right now. And um, yeah, so I mean, you can find it on all music streaming platforms. Now, is it actually playing anywhere on the airways or are you no, not yet? No, not, not yet. yet. Mm -hmm. But I was asked to make a mix for the radio. So, hey, <laughs> you know, since I'm a DJ, I can just go ahead and do that. What have you been doing since? everything was happening besides making music and, and painting have you been doing anything else i'm just perfecting my craft as far as being a dj and you know just working on music because i had the time to do so and hanging out with my daughter so that's how i was doing your, your inspiration behind being a dj now i know we all know this is a male dominated business and so what happened how did you get into that well, I always had an ear for music. They used to call me the human jukebox back in high school because I can, like, sing any song. And, like, um, I used to DJ at this event. Well, I didn't DJ yet. I used to host this event called the 1996 Party, and I really wanted to DJ. So I asked them, I was like, hey, um, what can I do to hop up there and DJ? They said, well, just get a equipment and hop up there. So I did. And the rest is history. Wow. That, now, I have to say, was it really that easy or did you have to shadow anybody did you would yes i, I did i did, you know, I did. um so like i first like honestly i first started djing on an app so i used to play around with this app called dj pro it's literally an app that you can get on your ipad and i, I started learning on there it's like the same stuff as like a turntable would have but it's just on 
a computer, you know? So I started on that, but I also stood behind uh, DJ Always, Z Nice, uh, Warren, a bunch of people. So like I stood behind them and watched them do their thing and that's how I learned. Yeah, DJ oh, Red wow. like actually showed me a lot as well. Do you have a specific music category that you like to play in the club or is it just, or, and, and by the way, are you playing in clubs, stadiums? Tell us about that too yes. as well. Well, I just did a music festival um, like two weeks ago called Dream World. So that uh, event, I would more so play EDM and hip hop, but um, I do all types of music. Like there's this a bar that's opening on Barstown Road called Afroconza and it's Afrobeats. I DJ Afrobeats as well. And I do Latin music <laughs> and hip hop. I do everything like for real. I really love music. Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess with being a DJ, you have to pretty much play all different kinds of music. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite genre of music that you like to play? Well, I definitely like R&B and hip hop the most, I would say. When you started, did you have any feedback, meaning, you know, did you have any push and people were saying, no, you can't do it, no, you know, basically, were you discouraged? Did you have any of the haters? <laughs> I mean, well, since I did start on the iPad, they called me the iPad DJ. <laughs> when I first started, they tried to call me the iPad DJ. But the thing is, like, in Vegas and everything, they was already doing that. So I was basically ahead of my time for Kentucky. They wasn't doing that. But then because of that, I went and go ahead and bought me a MacBook. I got me turntables. And then I came back and I was performing at the Yum Center when I came back because, you know. Wow. How long did it take you to make the head dresses back there? Well, uh, this one I did, like, just took a couple of hours. Just had to wait for the glue to dry and everything. And I just freestyled it. I didn't know what I was really going to do. I just wanted some, like, black roses and some purple, you know, and little screws. Those are screws, like, you know, like you could put food on it. So I just, like, spray painted them and put some glitter, you know, and then the back of it's even pretty. Cause I always have my finger waves. I used to have my finger waves, so you gotta have everything looking nice. Are you gonna sell those, or are you looking uh -uh. to? Uh -uh. No, <laughs> no, I could sell her dresses, but I do so much already that it's really hard for me to just like take my time and focus it on that. So, but this one, my friend also, she moved to California, but she made this one. This one actually, it did light up it as well. I did this at my music festival at Tinley. Really cool. So that means Candy can't get one because those are very beautiful. I, I would love to have one. <laughs> so, you know, maybe, I should, actually. That, that yeah. wasn't even that hard for real. But, yeah. Well, maybe we can conversate off of the air and then we can hook something up and see what we can do with that because I would love to wear one of those. And this is the one um, I just wore in the music festival. I just did Dream World. My friend actually made this. Her uh, her company's name is Nappy Gappy, and she this was the first crown she's ever made. So like I came to her with a custom order. Now she makes crowns. Now everyone's asking for one, and it's actually got crystals on it, quartz crystals. So oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh wow! Tell us a little bit more about DJ Samosa. Now that's a very unique name. Where did that come up from? Well, um, actually, I was on Barstown Road, and I was in front of this place called Cafe Mimosas, and my name is Simone, my real name is Simone, and my nickname is Momo, and me and my friend Tark was like, well, we got to come up with a DJ name from you. How about DJ Samosa? And I was like, that sounds cool. He's like, yeah, for Simone, Momo, and Mimosas, you know, because we was in front of Cafe Mimosas, and I was like, all right, cool, let's do it, and I just stuck with DJ Samosa. And at the time, my Instagram name was Nancy Botwin, so I wanted to change my name to DJ Nancy Botwin. I thought it was really cool. But then these kids came to me in my job at the time, and they was all like, you ask her. No, you ask her. And they was like, hey, is, aren't you DJ Samosa? And I was like, yes. And then after that, I just stuck with that name and changed all my social medias to DJ Samosa. I think that's dope. That is very, and I have to tell you, when I, I I didn't know at first how to actually pronounce it, and so I don't know whatever reason I kept thinking of mimosa, and so I was assuming that that is how you pronounce the name. So I, I really like it. It's beautiful too. Yes, I didn't know at the time, but it's actually a food. Samosa is a food. <laughs> oh, I googled it one time, and it's an Indian pastry. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually oh. pretty good. I tried it before. Uh -huh. Now on your Instagram, it looks like you've been doing some modeling, and and and, and let me let me just go back, guys. Um, we're talking to Louisville, Kentucky, female DJ DJ Samosa. 
Now, I have to say, when I first met you, and we didn't even start out like that, but um, I first met you when in 2018, you were here in Indianapolis, you were at a club, and my uh, partner said, hey, you need to you need to get her on the show. And the first thing I looked at you, and I was thinking modeling. Have you done any modeling? Yes, I actually um, tried out for America's Next Top Model. They told me I was beautiful, but I was too short for like the runway and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was a long time ago, but I do do modeling as well, I guess. Okay, so so how tall are you? I'm 5'7". Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a little bit more taller than I am. So. <laughs> I know, I'm actually taller than a lot of people, but it's not model height. They want at least 5'11", you know? Mm -hmm. so. But yes, I have. No, I actually got a photo shoot today. I'm, it, they're waiting for the sun to go down, and there's going to be fire behind me, so it's going to be really cool. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Listen, don't you know? I, I tell the people all the time: don't allow people to tell you what you can't do mm -hmm. because things have changed so much within these last ten years, especially when modeling. There isn't a height restriction unless there's a specific area where you want to model. But listen, I tell everybody: we are all models in itself. So. I, well, I would love, I can't wait to see those photos. I know, me too, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so are you doing any more modeling? Is this just right now your first gig after quarantine? Are you looking to do some more? Well, whenever I model for right now, since I am a DJ, it's for me for promoting myself as far as a DJ. So, yes, I will do more photo shoots. Uh, Kenyatta Bossman is actually my photographer that I use. He's done a lot of uh, photos that are on my Instagram. I tag him in a bunch of them, even ones from the music festival. So, yes, I'll definitely do yeah. more modeling. Go ahead, finish. Say this again. I was just saying I'll definitely do more modeling. <laughs> Well, I am definitely here. I support you and I encourage you because you have a beautiful look. So I just want to let you know that you're welcome. Where have you been when you're on your ones and twos? I didn't really call ones and twos anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. They still call it ones and twos. Well, at least I do. I don't know if everyone else does. But I've been up uh, quite a few places. I actually got the DJ in Florida. I got the DJ in Tennessee at a music festival uh, called Breakaway. Shaq was there too. That was really cool. I didn't know he was a DJ, but he actually is a DJ. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Isn't that something he just started putting out during yeah. the pandemic? Oh well, he's um. This was back in like 2018. So yeah, so it was before the pandemic. So I don't know how long he's been DJing, but he does it. So yeah. Okay. Okay. But well, nice. I'm sure nice. he's like the tallest DJ ever. Like <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I DJed in um. Uh, I've been a lot of places. Um. Yeah, Tennessee, Florida, Texas. I got the DJ in Texas. And I have some more like uh, stuff coming up as well where I would DJ out of town. I work right. in California and Atlanta and Chicago. So. And where, is there any specific place that you wanted to actually lay your stamp on? Is there anything specific, you know, a specific place? Well, I want to do more music festivals. So, um, I would love to be able to DJ at Coachella. Um, I actually got to DJ at Bonnaroo, but I wasn't on the main stage. So I would like to actually this time be on the main stage. That would be really great. Um, yeah, it's just more music festivals. So I would like to do Breakaway again, wherever they have that, because they move Breakaway around. It's not in one specific area. Um, Roland of Loud actually reached out to me, but they won't let me DJ unless I have an artist with me. So maybe I can just hop up there and start singing and then go back behind the ones and twos. <laughs> Your sister's an artist. Yeah, time you're an artist. <laughs> uh, I know, right? <laughs> wow, and you know that's the first time I even heard of that, and that's the festival that just happened about what a week or so ago. Yeah, Miami. Oh uh, yeah, Rolling Loud's been going on for a while now. Wow, wow. Well, that definitely I saw that crowd, and I know you would definitely put your stamp on that really well. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can get you in the next one. Yes, that'll be great. Now, um, I, I thought I heard something before. Are you doing anything, looking to do something overseas anytime soon? Yes, uh, we're actually working on something. I'm not allowed to say yet, like, as to far as where, but yes, we're working on it. Oh, nice. Well, I'm definitely What'd you say? Big goals, for real. <laughs> Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. Is there anything that you want to tell the audience maybe an encouraging word or anything that maybe 
the audience doesn't know anything about you. They've never seen you, never heard of you, but all of a sudden you just want to tell somebody something. Is there well, anything? Always follow your dreams, never give up. Don't listen to what other people say because they can't see your vision. They can't see your vision until it's already, you know, put into place. So just never give up on your dreams. Just keep following your dreams. Um, also, you can uh, find some of my art at Reverly and Nulu. Um, and I have more music coming out. I'll put it on all the streaming platforms as well. And I'll put it on my Instagram. Tell everyone how to spell um, Beautiful Minds again so they can go and click on download. Can they down, you said there is available on, to, on all the streaming platforms, correct? Yes, it's available on all streaming platforms. It's just Beautiful Minds with a Z. It's, that's the only letter that's different, and there's no space. Are you guys working on anything else besides yes. that? Yes, we have a few more songs that we're working on right now. Yeah, it's still kind of new. Like, although we've been doing it for five years, we're just not getting noticed for it. So we're asked, we're being asked to perform places, so we're working on that as well. But I can't say where yet until it's all set in stone. Listen, <laughs> just got to stay tuned, got to stay supporting, got to follow, and I'm sure that you'll renounce it when it's ready, when it's official. Yes, definitely. Now, tell everyone how they can reach you, book you, follow you, and please make sure that you spell your name. Okay, DJ Samosa, D-J-S-A-M-O-S-A. -S -A. Um, you can find me, um, DJ Samosa, on all social media platforms. You can also go to djsamosa.com. If you want to book me, uh, it's djsamosa88 at gmail.com. Uh, my email is actually in my bio on Instagram as well, if that's easier for you. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that DJ Samosa on Facebook, Twitter? Yes, everything. It's all the same, DJ Samosa. Uh, TikTok, everything, DJ Samosa. DJ SA. And one more question. What do you like to do in your spare time besides the things that you have told us about? Because you see you have so much going on. Well, um, I like to, I like painting. I mean, but that you already know that. Hanging out with my daughter. Um, I do enjoy movies. Um, I like to go to brunch. I love brunch. I like going out and drinking mimosas and eating brunch. It's great. Um, I like to travel. Yes. I like Florida. That's my favorite state right now. I like to go to an actual beach. Yes. Me too. I can just get a chance to just get by some water. I'll take that. If I can't get out and about and travel right now. Oof. Goodness. This traveling is oof. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way right now. But well, maybe hopefully we can link up sometime soon when this is all to the point where it's manageable. Mm -hmm. um, and I appreciate you coming back on to the Candy Show. You're more than welcome to come on again when you're ready to release the information about your upcoming project. And um, good luck. And thank you so much. That's no problem. Y'all can actually catch me at Z Bar this Wednesday. Yes, I'll be DJ oh. Z Bar, Zanzibar. Nice. Now you do the things weekly too. Are you yes. doing? Uh, yeah, weekly? Ainsworth. I'm there every Thursday for Throwback Thursdays, mm -hmm. and that's in St. Matthews. All right. Well, guys, make sure you follow DJ Samosa. She can be found every week in a club somewhere in Louisville right now. And guys, just make sure you follow and support. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye.